Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 247 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today, like every day, we have a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. There's going to be 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. Residents of this island speak Malagasy, and this island is a biodiversity hotspot home to such endemic creatures as the fossa, a cat-like carnivore. What is the name of this island whose capital is Antananarivo? This biodiversity hotspot is Madagascar. Question number two. In the Baha'i faith, this action is undertaken for the 19 days of the month of Allah, immediately before the Baha'i New Year. Catholics between the ages of 18 and 60 observe this practice on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. Jews also observe what practice for 25 hours on Yom Kippur? The answer is fasting. Question number three. Endothermic reactions cause a decrease in this property, while exothermic reactions increase this property. One indicator of a chemical reaction occurring is a change in what property? Endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions deal with temperature. Question number four. This man established the first Babylonian Empire 1,000 years before Nebuchadnezzar. What king is remembered today for his namesake law code, which includes such concepts as an eye for an eye? The answer is Hammurabi. Question number five. This author wrote about a boy who makes a boat from the trunk of the title Giving Tree. And he created little Peggy Ann McKay who cannot go to school today. Who is this poet of Where the Sidewalk Ends that during his career as a songwriter wrote A Boy Named Sue for Johnny Cash? That last part always catches me off guard. Shel Silverstein wrote A Boy Named Sue. Question number six. During the winter of the blue snow, this figure found his most notable companion, for whom he dug out the Great Lakes. In another story, what folktale figure created Mount Hood by placing stones on his campfire? The answer is Paul Bunyan. Question number seven. Films made in this nation include Satyajit Ray's Apu Trilogy, of which the first installment is Pather Panchali. What is this country which produces more films than any other, many coming from its Bollywood film industry? The answer is India. Question number eight. Action at this battle centered on Miller's Cornfield and the Dunker Church, and 2,000 Union soldiers died in a matter of minutes on a sunken road called the Bloody Lane. What was this battle that halted Robert E. Lee's invasion of Maryland? I 
believe after this battle, Lincoln gave the Emancipation Proclamation. It was the Battle of Antietam. Question number nine. What is the common name for the huge group of insects in the taxonomic order Coleoptera, whose name is derived from the Greek words Coleos, meaning sheath, and pteron, meaning wing? The simple name for that group of insects is the beetle. Question number 10. Snell's law is a key part of this branch of physics, which deals with the behavior and properties of light. Lenses are some of the commonly used lab equipment when studying which branch of physics? The answer is optics. Question number 11. Richard Feynman declared that the double slit experiment was the heart of this branch of physics, since it is impossible to explain in any classical way. Schrodinger and Heisenberg both helped to establish what type of mechanics. The answer is quantum mechanics. Question number 12. What is the alliterative name for the type of wordplay illustrated here? Imagine an imaginary manager's manager imagining managing an imaginary menagerie. I'll say it one more time. Imagine an imaginary manager's manager imagining managing an imaginary menagerie. That alliterative wordplay is called a tongue twister. Question number 13. These creatures can be found in all oceans, with the exception of the polar regions, although most species are found living in sargassum seaweed beds over continental shelves. What are these marine reptiles which come in leatherback, loggerhead, and hawksbill varieties? The leatherback, the loggerhead, and the hawksbill are all types of sea turtles. Question number 14. What is the term used in journalism for a particular perspective used to write a story that also describes the mathematical figure formed by two lines diverging from a common point? Two different definitions, one term, what is it? The word we're looking for is an angle. Question number 15. As was the case with so many New World Indians, the population of Australian Aborigines was dramatically reduced, perhaps halved, by what disease that Europeans brought to the continent? The answer is smallpox. Question number 16. The music video for God's Plan depicts Drake and company performing charitable acts in this Florida city. What is this city that is also the hometown of the rapper Pitbull, whose parents are part of this city's Cuban expatriate community? The answer is Miami, Florida. Question number 17. The four venomous snakes that cause most cases of snake bite in India are the common crate, Russell's viper, 
the saw scaled viper, and what other snake characterized by its ability to expand the skin of its neck to form a flattened hood. That type of snake is the cobra, specifically the Indian cobra. Question number 18, what is the name for the embroidered cloth artwork that chronicles the events of the Battle of Hastings, including the appearance of Halley's Comet before the battle and the death of Harold via an arrow to the eye? The answer is the Bio Tapestry. Question number 19. In 1971, U.S. doctors visited China to investigate reports of the success of an ancient Chinese practice of inserting needles into various parts of the body to produce anesthesia and relief from pain. What is the name of this practice? The answer is acupuncture. And question 20. Picasso included this instrument in many of his collages and cubist paintings. During his blue period, Picasso painted an old player of what type of instrument which now hangs in the Art Institute of Chicago? That famous painting is of an old guitar player. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Make sure you check back tomorrow. It'll be day number 248. If you would like to get in on the quiz writing challenge to win one of the Road Trippia kits, you can check out either Facebook um, we have the rules posted on there. You can shoot me an email, roadtripfia at gmail.com. I'll send you all the rules and guidelines, or you can check out YouTube's community page for this channel, and I have it as my most recent post. So I've had several people send in quizzes. I'm getting those boxes out this week, but there's still plenty to be won if you'd like to get in on it. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today. If Quizlet is born in 2024, what is the first year that she will become eligible to become President of the United States? If and when she is born in 2024, she will turn 35 in 2059. So she will be eligible in 2059, that's the answer. I do know the election won't be until 2060, so that means her term won't even start until 2061, so by that time she could potentially be 37 years old. But the answer is 2059. Whichever player got closest to that answer is going to win the point. If it was a tiebreaker, they just won the whole game. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.